Hi guys and welcome back to our video tutorials. Olga is not with us today, but instead of her, I will be your host for today a tutorial and how you can use WP Data Tables with Table Tools. So Alexander will show us how you can use the benefit of the Table Tools and export the data uh, from the front end or from the uh, back end as well. So Alexander, you can start. Okay, so for this uh, tutorial, we used a simple dummy employees table, uh, which you can also download from our documentation when you visit the uh, MySQL uh, query based table. So this contains 100 entries of uh, dummy employees, and we've added some uh, HTML here. You can see it when we enable uh, editing. Just let me refresh this page and enable server-side processing so when you uh, enable the front-end editing you can actually see how we've entered these uh, hyperlinks so it's a simple html uh, anchor tag where we're currently linking to our documentation so when you do this and you enable table tools when you print to excel you can open the file and you'll only see the names of the websites. So as you can see, there are no links here. So even though this is a valid link and it takes us to the documentation, it's not going to be exported into Excel. So in order to do that, you need to enable HTML in export files. Once you save it and export to Excel again, you can open the file and now you can see that everything that contains uh, HTML will be included in the file along, along with the headers of the table. So here's the file if you needed to um, save the data and save the actual link. Uh, when you enable table tools, uh, these are the predefined options. So print, Excel, CSV, and copy. You can also enable column visibility and PDF. Once you enable PDF, you can choose the paper size and the orientation, if it's going to be portrait or landscape. So basically, if we save, save the changes and take a look at the front end um, table, you will see all these table tools. So we can now download a PDF and it will open up like this. So again, in PDF, you won't be able to export the uh, HTML values. So this will be uh, simple text. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Let me go back. Uh, okay, so under columns visibility, your front end users will be able to hide some columns and of course show them again. So basically, if you want to hide some columns from the front end by default, for example, we don't need the ID and we can hide it. We don't need the birth date. We, can need, we don't need the date when the employee was hired. So basically, this is the table with four columns. And on the front end, when we refresh the page, this is the default view. So if someone wants to view the other columns that are hidden, they just need to click here and show the birth date and date when the employee was hired. So this basically covers uh, the mm -hmm. table tools. You can use them for column visibility or for exporting or copying uh, the data to the clipboard. So as you can see, copied 10 rows to the clipboard. One more thing worth mentioning is when you're using server-side processing, you'll be able to download only the rows that are currently visible on the pages. You can see we have 10 pages here. So when we export to Excel again, you'll be able to see only those two, uh, 10 rows. So uh, let me just turn this off because it's not that pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. um, so for tables linked to Excel, CSV, Google Spreadsheet files, uh, server-side processing is not available. So let's replicate the behavior of table tools when server-side processing is disabled. When you export the table without server-side processing, it'll export the whole table. So all 100 rows can be seen here. Now, as I said, we haven't linked all rows, but these are just for display purposes. So non-server-side tables will export the entire table so all 10 pages while when server-side processing is enabled it will only export what you currently see so if you go to page three 
and export it to Excel. When you open it, you will see that page. So Daniel, Holly, Gary, Hannah, and that's basically that's basically it. One more thing, when it comes to manual tables, you won't see this checkbox. So manual tables are server side nonstop. You cannot disable that. You can disable it only for MySQL query based tables and only for tables that contain less than 2000 rows. If a table contains more than 2000 rows, server side will be on at all times. Okay, but you can maybe, for example, change the display entries. Yes. Yeah, you can change, for example, to be 25 and yep. you can then export that if the server side processing is on. Yes. Uh, so as long as you're uh, viewing the data here, the number of uh, rows that are showing on the front end or in the back end, what you see on the page is what you'll be able to export when using the uh, server side processing. Also, a good thing to mention is that if you really have a large table with 2000 rows or more, we wouldn't advise using the all option under default rows per page because that will try to display 5000 rows, yeah. 10,000 rows. So basically the table might, the page might break or the table might break. So uh, best thing to do with large tables is to allow up to 100 rows per page and use it like that. Okay, thank you Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And before we end it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in another video. Take care guys. Bye.